Uh, hi friends, uh, uh, we are back uh, after uh, a short gap and uh, the month of June has been quite an eventful month. You have seen how the currencies have behaved and in fact equity markets and everything has been quite, uh, quite volatile. A number of ev uh, events happened, be, uh, the Greek elections, then the US Federal Reserve monetary policy, RBI monetary uh, policy and finally it was concluded with the EU summit. Uh, Greek elections, uh, it actually made the market quite hopeful that finally Greece will have a government which will be pro Eurozone and as a result of which which minimizes the po the political risk which Greece faces and also the also the uh, also the uh, Eurozone as a whole uh, but Federal Reserve not going for a quantitative easing uh, de uh, definitely had a n uh, negative impact on the markets and domestically RBI also was quite hawkish. They did not give the, the, the cut in the rates which the market was hoping for. So all in all it was like the markets in spite of the Greek elections uh, turned south and the dollar went up all the way to 57.32. Uh, but the entire trend uh, reversed over the last uh, uh, two, three days after the EU summit came out with measures whereby they have been able to address some of the concerns of the market. Let me take you through some of these measures. Uh, the, the Eurozone uh, leaders have said that this, the Spanish banks who will be getting 100 billion uh, of, uh, of euros of bailout from the, the EU would uh, not be charged a seniority status. What it means is that the money which will be coming from the, the bailout funds would not be made senior to the existing bond holders. Now this was a major concern of the market because as a result of which when the Spanish bailout was announced a few weeks back, the reaction of the market was quite negative. The Spanish bond sold off and other peripheral bonds also took a hit. The Italian yields went above 7%. So things were uh, on the boil, but after this measure from the, uh, the EU leaders, the market has taken it in a positive way and we have seen a sharp rally in the euro dollar which is currently around 1.2650 as we speak and dollar rupee has tumbled from 57.32 to now around 55.40 uh, levels. Now we believe the trend will continue for a couple of weeks. Uh, we have the ECB meeting on Thursday and also the uh, the US job numbers on, uh, on Friday which will be the near term uh, trigger for the, the for the markets in case ECB goes ahead with uh, rate cut and announces liquidity boosting measures for the market it's going to accentuate the rally in the uh, uh, risk assets and the downward trend in the dollar but in case ECB does not announce any fresh liquidity measures then we could see that dollar rupee find support around the 54 half to 54 80 level because uh, it's not just a technical uh, point which we are uh, concerned about. It's also that m the monsoon uh, is late and it's delayed by quite a number of weeks. So if the delay in the monsoon continues, it's going to have a significant uh, uh, adverse effect on our economy, especially the farm sector, especially at a time when the central bank is trying to uh, contain inflation through its monetary uh, policies. A failed monsoon will de definitely aggravate the food inflation part and lead to uh, a, di a difficult choice for the RBI whether to address growth which is slowing or to address inflation which is still st uh, stubbornly high. So we have to watch the progress of the, the monsoon and we believe uh, for the economy to get back on its growth path it's apart from investment monsoon plays a very big role and the next as a, re a result of which the next two three weeks will be uh, will be key because if the monsoon continues like this then uh, we have to assume that the this year the farm growth will be quite low and uh, secondly there is also a lot of hope in the markets that uh, the new team which has taken over the ministry of finance led by the prime minister would be able to push through the key reforms uh, but at the s uh, same time there is fear that uh, that we are just a few months away from the elections around 12 to 18 months now as we move towards elections there is a tendency for 
politics to uh, to take a lead over economics so if that becomes a case where the uh, political interests uh, from the opposition plays a bigger role then it might be we might get into a situation where the policy initiatives from the government might get it thwarted so we have to be very uh, very careful so if monsoon plays a spoiled sport if there are no policy push from the government over the next two three weeks then we believe 54 half could be the base where the dollar could bottom out if there is an Im improvement in the monsoon and if government is able to uh, pass a couple of important uh, legislation then yes we can see a, even a further appreciation in, uh, in the rupee possibly towards 53 half but as we said keep an eye on these two factors monsoon and the the policy push so next two three weeks will decide which way we move uh, so, and coming to the in, uh, international uh, markets US Federal Reserve meeting is next month so there is quite some time ECB uh, meeting is going to play a, a key role uh, because we believe uh, the eurozone debt crisis is not solved steps have been taken but these are still early days and lot more needs to happen before the eurozone can come out of its debt crisis uh, so that's it thank you